Hi and welcome to another tutorial on 2D game design in Unity. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with prefabs in um, Unity. So basically, if you have a look at this scene, I've got a few assets here and I've added some uh, planks here. And if you have a look, they're all the same planks. But uh, in one of the previous tutorials, I just kept on dragging um, dragging planks on and I also duplicated some um, planks so that we had copies of the same plank on this screen. So at the moment I've got three wooden planks here and if I went to the sprites folder I could go and drag more planks on if I wanted and I'd have to then go and add things like the um, uh, colliders and uh, change the properties of this sprite maybe um, rotate it to match the others and change the size to match the others and so on but if we keep doing that um, it, it's not really the best way to do it so we could just keep dragging more sprites on dragging more planks on changing their properties or we could keep duplicating existing um, sprites here by just um, pressing command D or control D to um, duplicate these sprites so we have copies of them on the screen and I can you can see I've done that here already I've got plank sprite 0, plank sprite 1, plank sprite 2 and now I've got plank sprite 3 which is the one I just dragged on but if we do that it's, it's not really the best way to do it and the best way to um, go about doing this is to work with what's called prefabs so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these um, 1, 2, 3 plank sprites here and so I'm going to select I'm going to hold down command and select plank sprite 3 plank sprite 2 and plank sprite 1 so I've got these three here selected I'm going to right click that and then delete them <clears throat> so we're only left with this one here which is plank sprite 0 I'm going, to go, I'm going to go ahead and rename that so I'll go up here in the inspector panel and just rename that to plank so now here in the hierarchy we can see it's just called plank now I want to add some more planks. So instead of doing what I did before and just dragging them on or duplicating existing planks, what I'm going to do is make this one a prefab. Okay, so to make this a prefab, all I need to do is drag it down here into my assets panel here. Before I do that, I might make a prefabs folder. So I'll right click in there, create folder. I'll call this prefabs. And I'll just go into that folder and I'm going to drag the plank into this folder down here. And so now I have a plank down here in my prefabs folder. And you might notice that the plank text here in the hierarchy has suddenly gone blue. So that means that this is a prefab. We're using this prefab down here in my prefabs folder. Okay, so now what I can do is instead of dragging the original plank sprite on from the sprites folder I can drag my plank prefab onto this scene okay and you notice I get plank I get plank one and if I drag another one it will become plank two but what it's done is basically it's copied all of the properties from the original plank that I turned into a prefab so if we look at plank the original plank it's got a box collider um, and if we go to plank one it's also got a box collider so I don't need to go and um, add manually go and add colliders to new planks I drag on because in the prefab it's already got a collider on it okay so what I could do is if I wanted to um, change this um, prefab here and I wanted to oh sorry to change this, change this plank here I wanted to rotate it a little bit I could go ahead and do that and maybe I can just uh, move it up here and maybe just rotate it a little bit more so what I've done is I've, I've rotated this plank here if I wanted this to apply to all future planks that I drag on from the plank prefab then I can just go over here where it says prefab we've got select revert and apply. I can click on apply and that means that any planks that I drag on now, any plank prefabs, will have kept those settings. They'll have the same 
rotation as this one here. Okay, so I don't need to go and manually change the rotation of each new plank that I drag on because I've applied those settings to the plank prefab. Okay. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at how to sort layers in Unity.